never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. Cause the beef what they can't go out. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef what they can't go out. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. Lights, camera, braxton, we got action. Go on, fade it already. <laughs> From the top, hold on, hold on. Lights, camera, braxton, we got action. It's the Richard Hart Podcast. It's your boy, Munchie B, the mayor. Uh-huh. And your girl, Mariah, the princess of the pod, a.k.a. the councilwoman, a.k.a. Mariah X. That part. <laughs> what? Hey, that shit long it was. Everything. Look at her with the AKAs. Yep. Hey, but look. <clears throat> Today, oh yeah, happy birthday to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? 12, 12, my little Sagittarius baby today, her birthday. So we go, you know what I'm saying, do this thing thing and we go back to the house and spend the, you know what I'm saying, with my daughter and shit. But all right, moving on. Happy birthday, pretty girl. Yep, yep. Shout out Nadia. So we got a word of the day. Yes, we do. And the word of the day is concoct. Yes. Concoct. Concoct, technically. Concoct. It's it's spelled as uh concoct you can i've say concoct like concocted no concocted a story because you use the word as concocted a story but let me just tell you what the definition means okay Mm -hmm. so concoct can mean to prepare or combine raw materials or you can concoct um like ingredients to make something or you can fabricate devise put together i concocted a story basically like put the story together put something together made it sound good make it sound better you know Okay, <clears throat> this being the first time we kicking off the word of the day, we had to, you know, have it correlate with what's going on today. And um, <clears throat> Miss Ruby Rose concoct, concocted, concocted a fictitious story. Mm-hmm. And Mister, uh, do we got a name to go with this dude? Um, let me see what his name is. As a matter of fact. They have him like as the top spender, all these weird names. So I don't really, he doesn't have right. his top, his, the, the his, OnlyFans top spender would go by. His, 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 his name ain't really important. So he was dubbed, he was known as the top spender, you know, supporting, you know what I'm saying, black businesses. And uh, with, with the OnlyFans, as far as Ruby Rose go, he ran it up as far as how much they say? 60,000, uh, 60, 65,000. 65,000 in what, what time span? A month. A month. <clears throat> like, God damn. My first question was like, what do we do? Mm-hmm. Right? And, and what, what 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 did you tell me he do? He he do some Bitcoin type Yeah, they, they made him seem like a Bitcoin billionaire. He was this Bitcoin billionaire and made all this money off of Bitcoin. Hmm. So when the picture came out, when the, you know, Ruby Rose's top spender came out and you know, the picture came out, No Jumper, Adam from No Jumper, the host, he noticed that he knew the guy. So he brought him on, I'm assuming sometime recently, because it just the video just aired. And basically it was all a lie. Ruby's team concocted this story and put it together. Mm-hmm. And um he doesn't have all this money. He actually, in fact, stated whether this is true or not, we don't know, that the tattoo he got on his leg, he was paid for it. He and even the text message, her team concocted those messages and made them um somebody may have sent him i don't know who or just her team made it seem all weird those creepy text messages i was telling you about that seemed pretty scary Mm -hmm. um those weren't even real basically weren't from him unless it was from somebody else but she does have a top spender that did spend that amount it just wasn't him so they made him i think it was brian the top spender they made him be like this top spender this creepy dude and they even got him mixed up with somebody that used to be on true life mtv remember that show Mm mm-hmm um, True Life MTV, he's like addicted to porn. They got him mixed up with that guy too, and he wasn't. He had no. So they basically made this seem like the, made him seem like this creepy guy. He didn't want to leave the house for a little bit because he was kind of creeped out. Like he wasn't sure what was gonna happen to him. And you was concerned for it because, like, as you said, he got 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 aggressive and wanted to. Uh, yeah, those messages. messages were pretty creepy. Like, you know, calling her kitten, getting mad at her. Like, why are you not responding? And then coming back with like, I'll do anything for you. I'll die for you. I'll send you a $400,000 Bitcoin if you just respond to this message right now. Like, it was pretty creepy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <clears throat> so, I, I, I guess she a content creator. We been talking about this content. Mm-hmm. She just created some uh... Some content. <clears throat> so, what is, like, 
at what point what is the truth on the internet nothing I hey, know, nah, but I think she did that to make other people that's uh, 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 subscribing to her OnlyFans probably up to Annie. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like like a bid, basically, right? Like, right. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Cause cause that other the the true uh, the real uh, top spender, he probably mm-hmm. looking like oh he got me effed up. <laughs> he got me after watch now this. He about to yeah about to run the bag up on her. Yeah. You think her? You think you think he went up on on, on some bread after he seen old boy quote unquote supposed to have spent some bread like that much in a month i'm for sure i'm for sure some people went up to get her attention because now they're like well what do i have to do to spend to get next to ruby rose so i'm pretty sure and people are crazy like if you like to spend that amount of money is crazy and the the guy that was supposed to be the top spender brian i think that's his name the top spender quote unquote he even said he's never spent more than a dollar on only fans and that's only because when you create an account you have to I guess it charges you a dollar. I'm not sure how OnlyFans works, but I guess he said he's never even paid more than a dollar on OnlyFans. And he don't even got that kind of money. He said he has some money, but not that kind of money. Hey, for the OnlyFans uh, females out there that be doing that little thing, that little content on OnlyFans, hit the Richard Hart Instagram page. You know what I'm saying? Tap in. It's the Richard Hart podcast on Instagram. And you know what I'm saying? We go talk a little bit. We we we, we go shout out y'all only fans tag and you know what I'm saying, do it up and run it up and get some exposure and shit. And we go we go we go we go we go talk some business. Just tap in on tap out for real. <laughs> talk for real. If you want to run it up and get some some more exposure, because I know some street TV people out there that watch art. You know what I'm saying? Some rich at heart fans yeah, for that, sure. that want to be tapping in the only fans at heart. You feel me? And, <laughs> and do that little thing. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Run it up. Run it up. Let us know. We support you, girls. I don't get it. I only watch that in jail, though. Like, oh, I'm I'm in jail with a cell phone. I got a Pornhub. I got a girl on girl. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, or, 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 or or some ebony porn. Like, bro, I, I, don't, I don't get it, bro. I don't understand. I've never been on OnlyFans. I don't watch porn. I'm not into none of that stuff. I already told you how I feel about that stuff. It's nothing against people that are making it money. It make you feel achy. Yeah, like, I don't, I can't. If there's a sex scene in the movie, okay, I can't really do anything about it if I'm watching a movie. But if it's too beyond graphic, I don't really. Uh, it's just not me. It just makes me like, oh my God, God is watching me. I shouldn't be watching okay, this. Okay, so, 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 okay. So, Mariah and her significant other, whomever she was in love with at the time, y'all ain't never just made a flick for y'all just to watch. She just y'all no. to just, just for your phone or his phone? No, for what? Why would I even want to see that? Because he might be gone and you might miss him. No. I don't even send crazy pictures like i'm okay you, okay you, okay okay what 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 if you go and you working this eight hours and he had, and he missed you and he like i just want to see my baby boom he 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 couldn't get none of those no like, because why do you want to remember me like that like what go to my instagram if you want to see me for real i'm no, not even trying to be funny like would, but he that's seeing you in the same light everybody else see you only this, this well you that's what we, say, that's say, what we say, got say, a memory say, that's what we got a memory Say my name is uh, Alberto, and I'm uh, uh, Alberto. <laughs> Alberto is I'm, I'm I'm Mariah. I'm Mariah Boo Daddy. I'm I'm her I'm her Boo. So nigga, Mariah been gone all day, eight hours. Boom. Then after that, she gotta go get the kids from uh, from school. Boom. After that, she gotta go to the grocery store because before she come home, she gotta hit the grocery store. She had to pick up some things. Boom. So now she ain't made it back to like she been gone since eight. It's about to be nine thirty, going on ten at night. I need to see my baby Alberto me. So. I can't have a souvenir in my phone? No, I will never consent to anything like that. I'm not cool with that. It's just weird. Like, I'm not... Is it because you think... Because it might go bad one day, you might have to curse him out, and he might get spiteful? That's that's number one key. Not the number one thing, but that is number one key. But I'm not in... Like, my mind don't work like that. Like, I'm not freaky enough, I guess, to want you to record. Like, that's just... To me, I don't see myself, like, sexy. I'll be like, I'm goofy. Like, why would you want to record me? I'm silly. Like, hell no. Don't do ever do... Nah, I'm good on so, that. So, although all the viewers view you this way as sexy, you just view yourself as goofy? Yeah, like, I'm a nerd to me. So, whatever y'all think, it ain't that. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Mariah drinking with me today, right? <laughs> so, you know, I did have a little drinky drink. I did some deer I juice. Have, I should have asked this a little bit later into the to the pod because that's this the truth juice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bring it up later, and I'm gonna say the same thing because I already feel it. So bring it up again later. Get that. Everybody go to episode ten, iHeart, Spotify, all the little good shits is on episode ten. If y'all want to know more about Mariah in depth. 
Yeah, that I did. Go, go to episode 10. Yes. I, I basically interviewed her. You he did. Me? He had me telling T that I was not trying to tell, but I guess it's out there, you know. I, I walk in my truth. I said it on one of my poems um, on my Instagram if you want to see that, you know, at Mariah uh under sweat underscore at oh munchy fuck see it's, it's <laughs> kicking in already four h's <laughs> underscore i did i said walking my truth i live my truth my skeletons ain't that bad so you know it is what it is all right speaking of truth juice mm-hmm. uh tiffany haddish okay so we're gonna pick up right there like Tiffany Haddish. Yeah, you, you know. <clears throat> uh, you got it. Continue on, Tiffany Haddish. Hey. Mm hmm I thought she had to back it up. Mm-hmm. He's gonna do it. I got my keys. All right. Speaking of truth juice. Mm-hmm. Tiffany Haddish. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Girl Trip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was taking a trip. She in, she in traffic. She driving. <laughs> I don't know if it's through Beverly Hills or, or on Beverly. I think it was on, on Beverly Drive. Okay. She on Beverly. She falls asleep in the middle of a main... Intersection. She, main intersection at the wheel. Slumped over the wheel. And and and, and, and I'm happy to hear that the, the car didn't slide off or nothing. Like, mm -hmm. evidently, she's on a break. So, everything ain't comical. Everything ain't funny, but... I'm glad that she, you know what I'm saying, then dripped off in traffic and everybody came out safe. But I guess prior to this, she had two DUIs. <clears throat> I may be wrong. Um, if I am just a little bit off, maybe two and a half DUIs. But she, they said she's not allowed to drink anymore. Yes. Um, and that was um, demanded by Georgia, the state of Georgia. So she must have cases in Georgia and California, I'm assuming. Okay, so, like, so, so the other DUIs must uh the first two must have been in Georgia and then this last one in California. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The 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 good thing about it was nobody was hurt. Um hopefully she can learn from her lessons and get, you know, sober or just drink within her house. I don't know what Oh, they said she can't drink at all, right? So she can't even have alcohol because she's gonna be having random drug tests and alcohol oh, tests. Not so at she, all? Yeah, I don't think she can drink at all. Like oh, it's 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 bad. Ooh. Hey, hey, oh, okay. I thought that was just oh, okay, 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 okay. But but like she she got enough money, she's a whatever near millionaire or whatever. So she could have a driver just get driving around and just drink. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they saying not at all. And I never heard of that before to earlier this morning, like damn. I wonder if she's just going through something like to be <clears throat> you know, because she keeps getting DUIs and they no. just throwing her they keep you know, throwing dirt on her name a lot. So dirt on her name. Yeah, there was this movie that came out that was really weird. Was it a skit or a movie? I don't remember if it was a skit or a movie. it was supposed I think to be coming. It was, a skit. A skit. No, it was I, really I, weird. I didn't, I didn't find it funny. Bro. I didn't. I don't know what was behind that skit. I don't even want to really go too much in depth about that. But ever since then, it just seemed like she just they've been trying to like. We ain't gonna shed light on the skit yeah. because we're on a bash. Uh, Tiffany Haddish, bro. Mm -mm. Shout out Tiffany, but dark humor. She just be towards adults. You know yeah, I mean? never but, with children or anything like right, that. Right, and that's all I'm gonna say. Like, but shout out Tiffany. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and it's, it's it's a it's a blessing. She didn't have to do no jail time. So just f that liquor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You raised now. You you ain't about to go to a a, a mansion to a thin ass mat in a mm -hmm. cell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, or she could could have been worse. So thank God she's okay, and hopefully she learns from her lessons. No drinking and driving. That ain't nothing to play with. It's so dangerous. Okay, so think. All right, we talking about talking about jail cells. Okay, talking about repetitive shit. Her keep drinking. So my good people's uh, Mr. Crib Mac. Mm hmm. Mr. Baby Crib Mac, Crib Mac number three, five five Crib. <laughs> he uh, he gets locked back up. He go to court. They drop his gun case in court. Then right after, they cuff him up and take him into federal custody. So the gun case is federal at this point instead of state. They go over there. They 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 uh, arraign him. Ain't no telling when he go back to court. I don't know. I ain't looked that deep. And now he 
looking at more time than what a gun case will carry in a state. <clears throat> so the fines then doubled. So now everybody didn't hurt that he been locked up for the for the uh, gun case. But the thing that stand out to me is the support that he got from China Mac. Mm -hmm. China Mac, all those he's or he's Oriental, but he's a real ninja though. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like and he 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 he's loyal. You could tell. Like mm -hmm. and and all through Craig Mac career, it seemed like he had people around him taking advantage of him, not in his best interest. Mm -hmm. And he been getting work this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ever since he start. Mac Ventures with, with with China Mac, he started dealing with China Mac, running with China Mac. Everything started looking up for him. Everybody, oh oh oh, I hear his appearance is like I ain't talking about his teeth. That should have been next on the list. But he dressing a little better, like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. He could tell he got his own spot now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like and shout out to Krim, uh, China Mac, China you know Mac. Me? for 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 being a loyal ninja out here. You know what I'm saying? When everybody wasn't though, even mm -hmm. his homies, it mm -hmm. appears to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I gotta give him his flowers for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They just ain't gonna shed light on the nigga getting locked up. That happened every week. You know what I'm saying? But free that dude because we gonna do the police. But shout out to China Mac though because I salute that for real, for real. No, seriously, he did. We were just saying on one episode he did need like a good support system, people that really like that genuine look out for him, and that is dope to hear that. Like he does have his best interests, you know. See, but when we said that, the only knock I had on that was. China Max from New York, and he read on all these California politics. Right. Maybe he been out here long enough now. He learning it. But, like, you going to, like, certain events and places with him, you got to, you know what I'm saying? Because people were saying when Joski had it. Is that his name? Joski the comedian? Yeah. Joski had a show. YG was there. Uh, 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 Blueface was there. And the energy was kind of stale. And they said China Mac was looking kind of uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you just don't, you got to know the dynamics out here. And that's the only knock I have. But other than that, man, China Mac salutes you, big team, for being a real nigga and, and, and being loyal because there ain't too many loyal motherfuckers out here. You know what I'm saying? Especially him being easy to be, you could take advantage of him pretty easy, bro. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully. So did the feds pick that case up? They picked it up. It came from, it came from state to federal because it's a thing they call ghost guns. And ghost guns, they have no serial number, so you can't trace them and see where they came from. Right. So that make it federal. Mm. So, so like you manufactured it at home, basically made it at home, right. basically. Right. Okay. Right. 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 And any 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 dude that's really gang gang, really in the streets and really like spot that life and sliding, you don't want a ghost gun. They jam, first two shot, and then you, you know what I'm saying? You're in trouble. And then you go from doing half time in a state prison. Or even some county jail time to uh, doing federal time for a punk ass at home manufactured ass gun and it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Dang, I didn't know. So you could get more time for having a ghost gun. You get more time for having a gun that costs less. Yes. Damn, that's crazy. Because at I first they were saying they had a switch on it. That ain't, that ain't what it is. Like it was, it was, it was a ghost gun. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, I wish the best for him. Poor guy. Seems like he's really trying, you know? He's really trying. Hey, look, bro. To me, write that man a letter. Send him some booty pictures. You feel me? For real, for real. Or even if you ain't got no warrants, go visit the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Accept the nigga calls because it seemed like he was in a rush to get snuggled back up under him. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't, don't just be cool when the camera's on, lights, camera, bracket. Go, go. I know he <clears throat> on paper he's my op. He's from on the he from the other side, but you know, you know what I'm saying? Man, real is real, bro. Don't be no fake bitch. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, go do your due diligence because you wanted to be up under him in this time when he was signing. So now it, it ain't it ain't the it's the dark moment gone, you know what I'm saying? Rock yeah, out with him. Because this is when it matters the most. No, for real. I'm sure he got crazy fan mail though. I'm sure they already sending him stuff. Can he read it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't forget the mail. I said booty picture. All right, I did some, all right. I just I send him some pictures, something good to look at. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know how the crip like to do. You know what I'm saying? Do the like nigga right. Booty stitches. Yeah, so. send him 55 pictures. You know what I mean? <laughs> fill the fill the mailbox up. Look out for the nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything, but salute, salute, 
dude, I really brought it up to, to, to salute uh, China Mac, man. Shout out to you, bro, for being being a, a support support system to the dude that really needed. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. At, after people from that that's actually Crips was ro- railroading them and taking advantage of them. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 cool though, and I salute that. You feel me? Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Hopefully, it all works out in his favor, and hopefully, you know, China Mac is his boy back home, you know, and it works out for him. Yeah. And speaking of blue, me and you are both matching. You both got blue on this. Like, we literally. matching a lot. You do that on purpose. I feel like you know, like, I don't know if you I feel something. like Ash Bash showed you where my window was at. The same one <laughs> she looked through when she caught me with old girl, her and Sade, they was looking through my window. She showed you my window at. You be like, oh, that's what he wearing? Because we be matching a lot. And people probably think we be planning this shit. No, we do not plan this at all. I promise y'all, we do not. Every time I say, like, Munchie, we matching again. Damn it. This happened all the time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Shout out Boss Mac. We we plan to wear the Boss Mac gear. You know oh, what yeah. Saying? He had his flies a swan. So, but other than that, hell no. Nah, you be looking through my window. That's all I know. And we both got blue on. Everything. See? <laughs> all right. From Crib Mac to us wearing blue. Uh, Blue face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been going through it, man. <laughs> Ooh, that boy been going through it. I want to say I, I, I want to say I, uh, I'm lying. I don't feel bad for men, but I'm saying it's going it, it, and it all like crumbled on them. Like how they, how they join forces like Kobe and Shaq, uh, Jaden and Coco. Uh, <laughs> Krishan. Krishan and Jaden join forces. How did that happen? How did it? How do you let it get out of his, his his grips? Like, you, hey, maybe he shouldn't have never let the other one around Jaden unless let's go fight. I they, think they that was supposed- always his plan, like to keep them separate, because I think eventually he knew they would have gotten along eventually. Like, you think he thought that? I think so, because I think he kept them distant for a long time, for a reason. I made it seem like you know putting a bug in both their ears, so they wouldn't like each other, so they wouldn't link up. <clears throat> He 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 said uh, uh, at the end of the road, we could skip past the marsh part. You know what I'm saying? When he got to his house, uh, Krishan was already at the gate. Yeah, to get her son. Or... All right, so they're going back and forth. So when he go in the house with the, with the son, no, no, no. He said him and Krishan hopped in the car with the son and pulled off. Mm-hmm. Left Marsh at the gate, like you know what I'm saying? Pulled off. So they talked. Oh, so. Chris, I said, oh, some bigger ones. I just want to talk to Jaden. You know what I'm saying? For real. He thought she was sincere. Well, maybe she was at the time. They went in the house. When Jaden seen her, he was, she was like, what's going on? Like, she want to know, is it up? Or, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Oh, no, it's good. She wants to talk. They talked. He's like, damn. It was so. It was going so cool. He's like, y'all, y'all sure? You ain't trying to sneak her? Or and she's like, no, no, no. They talking. They hugging. They pouring up shots. They drinking. He let them get too close and get to conversating. They got this comparing notes and talking about what they know about him and they join forces, bro. And throughout all of this, he probably got other women on the side too. So <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think they matter. Nah. I, I, these is these is the migraine and the headache. I mean, that's his okay, Jaden doesn't seem like she's much of a problem though. She just seemed like she don't seem like she's much of a problem. I think he kind of makes her, putting her always, like, exploiting her on the internet kind of make her look bad. I don't think she's so much of a headache as much as Krishan is, because Krishan's more vocal about it. Hey, if she if she clicked up with Krishan, she just is a headache, just, just as much as a headache is her, bro. <laughs> no, for real. Like, why would you link up with this girl and you live with your daughter and your son and Blueface, y'all one happy family, and you let her come along and, and ruin and tear it. Tear down, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think Krishan got what she wanted, though. Because then she just said recently, posted a video, like, for him to get over her. And she got his, his face covered. So I think she got what she wanted. She probably doesn't want to see Jaden with him. Hold on, did she get all of them covered? Because she got his name a couple times in her face. Um, I just know she got the name, I mean, the big one on her neck. Like, that one's covered completely. But the names are, that's easy to cover. It just names random random spots, so that's easy to cover. But that big portrait is covered, and then she got her new boyfriend's name tattooed. So she's something else. Hey, shout out my second baby mama because I still got love for her. I love her. I respect her, right? But she had my she well, she got my name three or four times, and she got a cover. She got one of them covered. 
one. <laughs> one. Just one. I don't mean to laugh, but you got one of them covered. You know what I'm saying? Good luck covering the one from your wrist to your uh, elbow. Dang. Like, yeah, it's like MB and the princess, like, going down her. Dang. <clears throat> That's love. She I guess. loves me. She, I guess she, she really <laughs> loves you. No, she loves you on everything. <laughs> I don't have nobody's name tattooed. Oh, for real? No. That's just something I, I ain't Hold on, what's do. that song? Get my name tattooed so you know it's real. You know I mean? uh, that's Rick Ross, isn't it? And Drake. Oh, and, and, is it Drake? Tell my name. Tell my name. Shit, I don't know the lyrics. I, I, Let I, me I mess heard it too long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all know what song I'm talking about. I think it's Drake and Rick Ross, if I'm not mistaken. It's not, yeah, I think it's Rick Ross and Drake. Quite a few females got my name tied it though. That's amazing. That's a beautiful thing for you. That's a beautiful thing that for you. That sounds so sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that sound the fake as fuck. That's, that's so amazing. No, that was I'm, fake. I was that's, that's a beautiful thing. That was serious. fake. And just... she said, that's a beautiful thing for you. Okay, she got it right the third time. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> and I don't mean this in no way. I'm just saying that's amazing. I just couldn't see me personally getting anyone's name tattoo. That's crazy. But I know my kid's father got my name tattooed on my lips, so that's that's what's up. If he still got it, I don't know, but that's what's up. Females be asking, like, who lips you got tattooed, right? I'm like, that's the computer lips. Oh, no, mm-hmm. they know. For sure, like, like, because I, I didn't know nobody's going to kiss the paper, like, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm you like, got to kiss the paper. So I printed I printed off the computer. Mine's just computer lips. Oh, okay, yeah, because you, you could have, like, you could have. Yeah, 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 but, but. And I think these lips, like, th- these ain't no black girl's lips on my neck. No, they just like the, like the. Right. Yeah. Like these, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, girl, boo. Like, <laughs> everything, like, I, I <clears throat> damn, how can I say this, bro? I want to have a moment of truth. Fuck this shit. Moment of truth. Moment of honesty. I got three girls' names tatted, bro. What? <laughs> Look. I got two covered. Let me find out you a signing sheet. <sighs> Roster. <laughs> Present. Listen, bro. I said I, I wasn't going to do it again. Right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but I believe I got I, I got I got tricked. How did you get tricked? I'm going to tell you I got tricked. All right. <clears throat> Without saying no names. Without saying no names, right? Mm-hmm. Me and this girl was cool. Like we cool. We became, we became so cool. Like we're, we're like super tight. Like when well, we tight, 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 tight. So like she told me like, man, like I always had it on my bucket list. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like get get each other name tatted, like not even on no, you know what I'm saying? Now keep in mind, me and this girl not like this at the time. <clears throat> so like, like boom, and we like super tight. Telling each other like shit we don't know about other people don't know, you know what I'm saying? We we just and we vibing out, boom. Hanging out like we just we just we just cool like that clicking. Mm-hmm. So we do it. She get my name tatted, I get hers. All right, boom. Shortly after, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. All the little shits like we become like now that now it become my girlfriend at some point. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now I have my girlfriend name tatted. It don't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? It don't hit the same. Because at first you guys were kind of like just like best friends. Right. Like now that wasn't the reason why we got it. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. So boom. Now, boom, we go steady for some time, some time, some time. We'll start fucking with it like mid per pandemic or some shit. Boom, boom, boom. And then shit ain't, shit ain't Gucci today. You know what I'm saying? It ain't Gucci and Gabbana, right? So mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I want to get this shit covered. Feel me? But see, I wasn't supposed to do that in the first place. But see, I probably wouldn't want to get it covered if it didn't go there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't supposed to be for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So y'all not cool to this day? We ain't like that. Not for you to be on my body still. I, <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> you know. crazy, man. That's that Scorpio in you. Not to be on my body. <laughs> hey, so do Blueface got her name tell it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. I don't think so. I, it's never been like public, like publicly out there. I would think she would show that, right? I don't think so. <clears throat> All right. I just affirm believe if you get someone's name tattooed, it's like that old saying: if you buy a man a pair of shoes, he gonna walk out your life. The saying or that or a woman a pair of shoes, whatever the saying is. I never heard of no shit like that in my life. That's a that's a <laughs> <Never. laughs> Write that shit back. You said what? If you buy a woman a pair of shoes, or if you buy a man a pair of shoes, they walk out your life. 
That's like an old oh, school thing. You, you have know, heard you know, of that. You know, you be talking fast. Oh, yeah, I, do, I do, I do, I do, I do. My bad, my bad. Let me hold slow on, down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You keep it up. I'm just going to listen faster. <laughs> I, Am I talking fast or you listening to it slow? Yeah, I'm listening too slow. That's what I'm going to say. No, 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 no. So, yeah, no, no, no. Tattoos, if you ain't dead, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're if you not dead or you not my daughters and my mama, you're not going to my body. Exactly. I got my dad and my son's name. That's it. Not, I might get my, my dog's name on me. I ain't gonna lie. I love my dog so much. You didn't tell everybody <laughs> you got Munchie B on your wrist, bro. No. But, but we gonna keep that a secret. No, no, no. You got Munchie B on, you, you got Munchie B on your wrist. Don't and, make this, hey, y'all. He, he lying, y'all. Because yeah, y'all right. gonna try to run with this narrative that y'all been running with. Everybody, Please. everybody, MB underscore TH. Hey, Mayor, go follow my Instagram. I'm gonna post it later tonight. <laughs> on my story. They gonna stay up there for long, so make sure you go follow me quick because it's gonna be on my story. He is lying, y'all. Y'all gonna, they gonna really run with this story and that they have been running with. So, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you my you my dog. You, know you my dog. I still wanna get your name tattooed. Nah, we just got the match of NBs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? No, damn everything. This dude is not telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up because it's Mariah Hayes, not Mariah. How much you we all fucked it's up? It's not telling the truth. Now we can get a match of Richard Hart tattoo because we started this thing together and what? we in this thing together what? forever. So we could get that matching. Okay, okay. That ain't that ain't bad. Okay, we can okay. Get that. Yeah, hey, the name just seemed too much. They already trying to put us in a relationship together, yeah, so the name is kind of lit, kind of yeah, yeah. See? I ain't trying to get you pressed or nothing like that. Hey, I ain't gonna get pressed. One thing about it, I don't get pressed. I'm nope. a single woman. I'm a single woman that is focused on herself. I got pressed for matching too much. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> you about to get pressed? Hey, next hey, week? hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. They're like you and Mariah, y'all be matching every. I'm like, man. I text Mariah. Like, man, she said, dude. She, then she came with the fast like. Y'all wore green on the same day. The day you had the little '90s looking thing with the cutter she had the hat on. Yes. Then you had the tan on that day. I'm like, damn, bro. And I was supposed to wear Tim's that day, which that day too. And that's crazy because you wore Tim's, and that's not even like, it's not even that cold to be wearing Tim's, which is crazy. I wasn't wearing that day too. Which it wasn't cold. Crazy. It wasn't that. Yeah, yeah. Right now, it's, it's ready for the Tim's. Yeah. Then when I had them on, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we just like, cause we so cool. Like great we in tune. Great, great mind things like we just like it's like we in tune. That's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. They just be mad at us for that. We can't help it. All right. Look, blue face. He going through trouble in paradise. And so is Wack 100. You know, Kimberly about to leave him. But but that ain't what I'm bringing Wack up for. All right. Wack, he said some things on, uh, you know, the, 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 the little endeavor he have with Adam over there at No Jumper. Mm -hmm. And X4 from 40s, he didn't. He didn't I'm going to stop saying X4 from 40s, he a rapper now. Yeah. X4. The Mac Lord, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? X Fo, he he wasn't really feeling it. He didn't take the shit too, like like what are you like what are you talking about, brother? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we got a clear run at Alex. Nigga, don't ever go on no jumper, bro, on a dead homies, nigga, and say on a dead homies, nigga, you ain't signed me because I'm controlled or I'm not my own man. Nigga, on a dead homies, you don't even know me, nigga. On a dead homies, nigga. I ain't never been controlled by nothing. On a dead homies, nigga. Been squabbling and growing up in the hood, squabbling for not listening, niggas. I was a kid. Nigga, on a dead homies, you don't know me. On a dead homies, nigga. West Side Fogies, nigga. Old oh, man. And stop saying, on a dead homies, you got me lit, bro. I don't care because you took a picture next to me. That shit don't mean nothing, bro. On a dead homies, you took a picture with a hundred other artists. On Fogo Crip, million other artists. Nigga, on a dead homies, that music still bunk tongue. <laughs> nigga, on Fogo Crip, nigga. I got myself lit, nigga. I'm rolling crib, nigga. And you ain't signed me, nigga, because you wasn't, your bag wasn't right, nigga. They homie, you wasn't talking right bag. You wasn't talking the number I want to hear. Nigga, on crib, you, wasn't, you never brought a number up. That's why you ain't signed me, nigga. FC. On a dead, nigga. Compare no nigga with no fucking email, emo here to me. Talk about, yeah, on a dead homie, I signed Blueface on crib, but I didn't have to go talk to the schoolyard. But if I signed next four, he controlled. Nigga, on a dead homies, nigga. On rolling crib, bro. Go back 10 years, 8 years, 7 years ago, dead homies. Cuz got picture doing all. Cuz is an internet type nigga, bro. On a dead homies. Why niggas keep saying next four, then Blueface? On a dead homies. That's two different type of cribs, two different type of on rolling crib, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. I wouldn't want to sign your weird ass anyway. You went in there and started talking all they business. Dead homies start talking about all your artists' business, putting all their business out there on the dead homies, nigga. Fold crib, you talk like a hoe. I don't want to sign to no nigga like you, nigga. On the dead, you an internet nigga, bro. Dead homies, I do other shit. My name known for other shit. You known for playing on this internet, old nigga. Stay in your place, nigga. Glove hats, crib, nigga. They keep saying I put up by myself to the crips. Like, bro, stop making it seem like you don't, y'all don't, you don't beef with us, bro. On the dead homies, bro. You don't beef with us, bro. On crib gang, I see you put up on some Compton crips. Then you can say, okay, yo, I put up to the crib by myself. Then you would have looked it kind of tough. On the dead homies, bro. You pull up to the rolling 40s, bro. On the dead homies. And 600. On the dead homies. You not in no danger? <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, yep, yep. <clears throat> hey. Hey, that's a misconception that if you're a part of a gang, somebody could tell you or tell you what to do. Mm-hmm. That, 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 that's that's a misconception, bro. That's not the truth. And I don't, I, don't, I don't get that, but hey, salute X4. I respect him for standing on business, nigga, and letting a nigga know, like, nigga, don't nobody could tell me I do what I want to do. And you know what stand out? When Alex interviewed X4, Alex was like, you know, when I was talking about doing the song Frosty, he's in, I'm pretty sure... Uh, 600 to understand this business and he he made it clear you could tell the tone of his voice no 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 it ain't got nothing to do with him like no it's me you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like i don't know what if that was his i, I don't know what was his reason for saying that about a uh, dude or whatever but but salute bro for uh standing on business you know what i'm saying and letting nigga know like he can't play with me like that you know what i'm saying yeah he doesn't strike me as like uh no type of character you can play with like that like he's not even this made up type of person you can narrate the story and try to do all that he's striking me as like he's standing on business he was he sounded real serious too so no i think i think i think it's the age thing i think because i think he what 23 24 yeah i think we said that last time i think he uh maybe thinking uh oh he young and they go control him you know what i'm saying but but he he mentioned like 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 uh little dude got he got Hella family from 40s, you know what I'm saying? And I even despite that, because I I got I came to my hood as a bastard just by myself. And then after that, I got some relatives that followed me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I, I got put on then other ones younger than y'all that they from the turf. But ain't nobody controlling me or you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I, I'm 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 an independent blood for real. I'm from a gang though, but like so that's a misconception. I, I I hope people just get that out their mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because didn't he already get signed? Like it's he already it just sound like he's just trying to take credit for putting him out there. And I think people already he already had a fan base and stuff like that. So that was kind of okay. And I'm gonna say this though. And I'm gonna move on because okay, he said you took pictures with other people, and I think he was uh, really talking about Young Magnificent and Young Magnificent is from Hoover. Mm. And he's saying that oh you took pictures with him but boom boom but no boom boom, boom got a comparison you know what I'm saying and I think that's where he was getting at without saying it you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and and uh yeah if you took a picture next to to to, to X Four and he took off and he took a picture next to Young Magnificent he like it, it should be it should be some motion going on you know what I'm saying right and and, and that ain't no 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 uh no shade because. Young Magnificent, Baby Spook from Hover. That's like, I, I know him personally, and he cool people. So you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but and I think that's, but I think that's where X Four was getting at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? More power to everybody in, in, in play with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Except for whack, cause I don't fuck with. Him, but more power to everybody, nigga, nigga. Young Magnificent is hard. Period. Cause I don't, I don't agree to debunk. So that might be, that might be the, the, the where the disconnect at. Cause. Yeah, magnificent. He he got he got the harm uh, the harmony type melodic type shit. And he he spit and then he just ain't talking uh no the typical gang bang shit like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's probably just like some other you know they probably just don't listen to each other music probably something like that. Maybe he just threw that or little diss out there. Or maybe he might feel his bun because it's because it, it's people that people rock with. I yeah. I just don't I don't like. Right, right. You true. know, baby, that my right hand man. Mm-hmm. He's a NBA young boy fan. I don't rock with NBA young boy music. <laughs> Like, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's different shows for different folks. You know yeah. What I mean? Like, I, I, I don't rock with it. Like, so. well, it's what, you know, what I listen to, you may not like what you listen You know what I'm saying? Vice versa. So I, I get it, but more power hey, to Expo. I hop in your car. You put me up on like two or three songs that I like. You like, yeah, because I'm like, that like DJ. It. Yep. Nah, you just been around me. So you, you like, oh, I know. You feel me? Yeah, I'm that DJ. Check this okay. out. I put Munchie up okay. on game. You know, DJ Ryan. Yeah. DJ Ryan in the building. Yeah. If y'all want to yeah. book DJ Ryan, he just tap it or tap out. Yeah. All she gonna do is plug her phone up though. She gonna be on the ones and twos, <laughs> but, but it, you know, she gotta put her show, put your show. Do not disturb. You just can't be calling. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna interrupt. You know, I be putting people up on uh, the music. You know, so your hotline don't be blinging. Nope. I think they said when you scratch your ear or something like that, you lying or telling, I scratched my ear, but I was just scratching because I was already planning on scratching. But nah, my highlight don't bling. Oh, you gave away your little liar yeah. tactic. <laughs> I started scratching my ear. You gave away your little liar nah, tactic. Nah, ain't nobody calling so, me. Ain't nobody worried about me. All right, who I'll be calling? All right, I, Alex call, Munchie call. That's that's top uh, two of the day. Your son call. My son he call tapping for in. Him all day. 
Oh, Watching my location wherever I'm at. Oh, we gonna take your son off. Your pops and your son don't count. Okay. All right. All right. That's it. Mushy and Alex. Yeah, that's it. Mm, mm, if it ain't mm, business, and that's you know, I ain't answering. We gonna screen record your call log and scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down like for like thirty seconds. Then we go, we go post it. Okay, we could do that. It ain't Munchy Alex, Munchy Alex, Munchy Alex. <laughs> I'm nosy. I wanna know. <laughs> Let me know. Let me in. Hey, uh, you guys, uh, for the YouTubers that are going to see the visual, put in the comments, do you want to see Mariah's call log? Next, next episode. <laughs> oh, everything. Look, 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 look. And for everybody that's on uh, uh, Apple, Apple Podcast, f- give us a five if you want to see that call log. Yeah. We, we dropping a call log. You got to drop the call log. I'll even, I'll even let you scroll through my text message the first 30 seconds. Well, that 30 seconds is crazy long. I ain't going to no, lie. No, 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 no. We got to know yet. We, no, we go five. We go five seconds for the t- for the text. Okay. Because we're not going through the text. We're going through it the name. It gotta be random though, so I can't even know when. <clears throat> okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So by the time y'all 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 hear this or see this, we need a five Apple Music, and we need to go up on YouTube in yep. the comments and and, and 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 put put some hashtags to symbolize the number. We gonna know. We know that we want that. We want. Them, them, them call logs and that text message. Yeah. Five seconds in the text thread, thirty seconds in the call log, and it's gonna be random. <laughs> random, and I just gotta pull it out live. You can't All cut right. this out. Nothing. We don't. We don't even be cutting shit out. So you All know right. it's gonna be right, right on random. All right. <laughs> is you ready though? Is you is you really ready for that though? I'm ready. I don't care. It's <laughs> funny because I'm laughing, but it's I'm ready. It don't be. It ain't nothing in there. Me. Cause I talk to you. I know who to expect in your call log. So, all right. So, uh, all right. Okay. It, okay. No, let's no, no, do no, this. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let me let me do this. When we went to that video shoot. How long did Frosty have my phone for an hour? That means he could have went through my pictures, anything. Frosty, Fro- shout out Frosty. To Cause he went through Frosty my phone, snowman. so he had access to everything. It ain't in. Frosty for sure hijacked her phone for like <laughs> at least forty five minutes at the sexy red YG uh, video. Yes. His shit went dead and her shit came up missing. He just hijacked her shit. So was taking pictures of himself and everything in my phone, videos, all kinds of stuff. So he wouldn't he could say he could vouch for me. He could have went through my messages, anything. And it was random, like, oh here, whatever. Like All right, we And to be clear, it ain't like that me and Frosty either. So just be clear, I don't want I don't need no one coming. You ain't never been on pro probation how they just pop up, hey, uh pro check. So it's gonna be like that with your phone. (laughs) And we're gonna see like you feel me, you know what I'm saying? Mariah is an angel. I would like to believe that. <laughs> Munchie, you know we don't be trying to do me. No, I'm for real. Like <laughs> for real. Oh, man. This man get on my nerves. Honestly, y'all. Uh, what we got up next? What we got up next? <laughs> all right. All right. All right. So, your boy, Charleston. King oh, oh, yeah. My oh, bad. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Not Charleston just yet, man. And by the way, Charleston, man, hurt. Ooh, I heard heard his daughter look like, bracken, but we gonna go back to that. <laughs> don't start with Charleston, uh, please. And we don't need no war over here with Charleston. Can't yell it. Oh yeah, we do have a video, huh? Okay. Hold on, first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. King yell it. You yelling out a lot on everything. Hey, look, look, look. look. All right. King yell got a song called Famous Rap, which I never heard. And at this point, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> but 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 I heard he called out Boston Richie, six nine, and one other person. Boston Richie, six nine. I can't call it right now. One other person. But I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm not gonna listen at this point because I heard this first. The boy Ten Naughty Jake, out of them. I guess he got pulled over in Vegas. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They said he wasn't uh, cooperating. You know. Put him out the car, got caught with a blick, and then he uh got taken into into custody. So when he got taken in, dude said he used to be a gang officer, gang intelligence, and he this now, and he went into hollering at him. And then he seemed to think the things he was talking about during his uh interview. Not this type of interview, mm-hmm. not this type of conversation, but his interview with with the with the police. He says it's not telling, and this is the reason why he says not telling. Run that shit. Are oh, you rich? What you gonna tell them? And tell Jason Rooney it's folding it in the courtroom, boy, with your finger up. Let's get right to it. 
I ain't incriminating nobody. I ain't um, putting nobody in a situation. Nobody went to prison. Nobody got in trouble. Never been on the stand. Nothing. So we're going to get to this. King Yellow Rat. 1090 Jake got a vendetta against me due to the fact that I called him a rat. And he told the people, oh, woo de woo hit me in my head with a, a lock and a sock and, and wrote it down on paper. Come on, bro. Let's start there. You... White boy, you was playing crazy, gang. You trying to play with the black community. You went and dug that, that stuff up that you thought was something, gang. Oh, he a BD. He a GD, bro. Everything is public records, bro. Let's get it to, is you in tour with fool now? I don't even know them like that. I don't, I don't, I'm not in tour with them. We cool. Woo -dee woo woo Y'all got to understand, don't peep when somebody always try to make it seem like, oh, he a bad guy. Then he swerved. Aren't you BD? And ain't he GD? Read the paperwork, no matter what. Oh, he beat it, he GD. Now, we're going to go to these videos. Well, he on there saying the reason he flipped from GD to BD. Then Offset saying he GD. Nobody got in trouble, gang. I just did four years after this, gang. Why did the police stop me? Why was the police stopping me and asking me questions about food now? Let's start there. People act like they don't know what's going on, man. Right is right, wrong is wrong, man. I've never been on no stand. Uh, got nobody freedom took from them. Never got nobody in trouble. I ain't got ain't nobody go to jail but King Yellow. You feel me? Then you got six hundred breezy, six hundred breezy. You want to play? Oh, he's he's playing with my name. I'm not a game. Come on, bro. They asked me what happened with the mall situation. Is you BD? The whole world know you BD. Is y'all into it? No, we cool. I don't even know fool. He locked up. Then like, what? That's nothing, gang. Then uh, uh, offset. This offset GD, you pitchforks everywhere. They know this already. I'm not going to the police saying, oh, we're offsets of uh, GD and uh, 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 right, 600 it. breezes of BD. Come on, man. Hey, look, <clears throat> like I told Goofy Badass, just because somebody told me they self, that don't mean you got to help them tell. <laughs> nah, for real. No, 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 no. And then if you went to, to, to jail for a gun charge, they put you over with a gun. What about the, the, the charge you have? Why why is they talking about everything under the sun other than your charge? Mm -hmm. That's 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 outlandish, my 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 bro. That that ain't cool. So could it? So with this happening, what was this something that you have to sign off on? Because isn't anytime don't anytime you give a statement or something uh, like is that like a statement or what is nah, that? I, just nah, the, I, highly, I highly doubt he had to sign off on that. You had to sign off on that. I I could almost put my last dollar on it. That whoever detective, whoever is, whoever that dude is, when he left out there, he laughed at him. He laughed like how easy it was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he's volunteering shit. He he'll say, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he died for our sins. Like, <laughs> bro, nobody asked you that. Bro, so he said some 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 uh some some he said, Oh, to my snap dog. Oh yeah, and he's from Detroit, right? He's like, a Detroit rapper. Damn, nigga, you 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 said Nigga, you, you snitching outside the rack. You you about to go all the way to Detroit. Well, not all the way, but the, like, bro. And let me tell you something, bro. You you got people that, that inform. You got cooperators. You have snitches. All one and the same. I don't care how you color it. It's all one, it's all one and the same. Okay, and then for you to say, I don't know if we got to that part or not, that... The, the the Jake nigga only only did this because you said he was a snitch. Two wrongs don't make a right. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter. So at any time you are volunteering, giving off information, anything like that, even though this is whatever he quote unquote says allegedly. Uh, well, no, it's on paper. I guess I can't say allegedly. But whatever what was said, he's agreeing these certain people are gang members. That's basically like is that kind of like what Gunna did basically. And it's to an extent. No, 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 that's different because they're on the same case. That's right. That's no, different. That's no, no, different. no. It's different because because I don't believe YSL is a gang. Right. And that's what they're trying to prove. You, it, Gunna is helping them prove their case. Gunna said, yes, ma'am, that, that they is a gang. They need to be stopped. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? For, for what the world know, all we know is lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. know, we know, we know Young Thug for the music and wearing a dress. Mm -hmm. We, we don't, we not. Thinking about uh gang gang when we think about that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and you you help them strengthen their case by confirming based on your credible source because you within the uh, you know, the inner circles of, of YSL the label, 
and you said that there was a gang and you shouldn't have never said that. That was that was foul. You know what I'm saying? That's what they trying to prove. That's the whole thing of a Rico. Yeah, that's totally different. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what he did is basically he's agreeing that these people are gang members. He's informing. He's are informing. <laughs> so that means it, can he still be considered a credible source when saying these things? Because technically these are people from the opposite side, right? 1090 Jake. That's how we got to do it. My name is Ascari Banks. Go look at my shit. I didn't inform anything. I've been I've been getting in trouble since a jake. Ain't they call it a jake in, <laughs> since Not in Florida? From Florida. No, 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 Florida. I've been getting in trouble since a jake. Okay, go, go, go pull my shit. I never informed anything. I never uh cooperated with anything or snitched on anything. All forms of it. Cause cause they all, like they like to break and snitching down to categories and level. Like he didn't know, nigga. You we don't talk to the police. You know what I'm saying? That's that. That's crazy. Nigga, nigga, don't, nigga, don't pull me over. I got a gun. They about to take me to jail and ask me if Alex on cameras, and where did he get them from? I don't know, nigga. <laughs> nigga, 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 nigga. That camera shoots some different shit than this shit. I'm here for this. <laughs> nah, for real. That's 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 not that's not straight, and it so ain't do street. You think that he made the song because like he probably thought this information was never gonna come out, or was like because that's public record, right? That he probably thought it never was gonna come out, so he probably that's why he on his channel he's saying yeah. certain things. I did a little bit of research. I also thought he would have been a cool person to have on the the podcast. I thought it'd have been he's different. Still cool if he cool what I just said. Yeah, like you know I thought he'd be cool, like you know, different different background and stuff. But now 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 uh, yeah, I didn't call you a snitch. I call you informant because you informed the police. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got niggas to inform, cooperate. And motherfucking snakes, you know what I'm saying? And all of them is bad. <laughs> don't, don't get none greater than the next. They all bad. Don't inform the police about nothing about me. You know what I'm saying? No, true. I uh, <laughs> I knew my Miranda rights early. <laughs> my parents still listen to me. I still listen to my kids. Just don't talk. Wait till you get an attorney. Don't say nothing. Don't agree to just mute. I don't want to be on I'm nothing. Gonna you, I'm gonna tell you something I, about I'm Miranda not rights. I'm anything. I just. Uh -uh, I don't want to be alienated from anything. I don't want from family life, anything. I don't need no one looking at me crazy. I ain't saying nothing. Miranda rights only get read when you're getting recorded. I'm going to tell you that much, right? Because Absolutely, I done, of I course. I've been to jail a million times. Well, okay, maybe I didn't get read my Miranda rights because I we didn't talk. I just went straight to the cell. Anyway, they didn't even ask me shit. Because they probably knew your ass. <laughs> nigga, I caught my, uh, the blick in my pocket. Like, I'm, <laughs> all right, nigga, it's his. Yo, everything, but, but nah, nigga, on everything, nigga, uh, uh. I don't fuck with no snitches, bro. Nigga, the only one I tolerate as being a snitch is my mama, nigga. Other than that, you better ride your shit out like six flags, nigga. Yeah, I don't want to be in no... <laughs> I don't want to be on anything. That's just me being cautious and safe in general. Just I don't want to be on anything. That no, has never, I, I, no affiliation I, I, to anything. I hate to use my dad as an example because I know my dad stand on business. My dad, he had his age he is now, and he wouldn't even be uh, participating into no shit unless he's forced to. But like my, I wouldn't meet man. Me, and my dad wouldn't have a good relationship if my dad did some shit like that. Yeah, that is crazy. But 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 I I got definition of faith is believing in something you really can't see or touch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I got I got faith that my dad would never ever do that anyway. So that was just an example. Like I just don't deal with them type of people that 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 point every finger on their fist. Like it's not. Um, there's people that are non affiliates too that just don't talk. I mean, I've watched this, I faithfully watch Crime Circus' YouTube page, and there's people in the interrogation room. And like I've said this before on here, there's white people on there that be like, why are these people talking? Like, be quiet. You shouldn't say anything. Like, because you know, th those detectives are in there to message your mind. They got you in there in a super cold room for a reason because you're uncomfortable. So you're shivering, you're already fidgety. Like, I'll be watching that, like, dang. Okay. Our first 48, perfect example. You say non affiliates, bro. Okay. Like me. Not, I'm not into anything, right? Okay, when you say non affiliates or civilians, by definition they say a civilian is anybody that don't wear a badge or that's a public servant. Uh huh. Hey, none of us civilians. I hate that word civilian. Yeah, okay, very true. I hate it. Okay, and then red hey basically, so so just cause you don't game bang or you don't kill people make somebody it's cool for them to tell? No, because mm -hmm. a lot of these bitches is boosters. They didn't mm -hmm. ran it up and stole the whole uh, children's department, but 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 they could tell on somebody. No, <laughs> not the children's department. No, nah, for real. No, it can't it can't happen. I just I I think of it like 
Just shut the fuck up, honestly. Because think of it like this. If you when you go to jail and they find that out, you're gonna get overly toe up. When you get on the streets and they find that out, they could pull this up, you're gonna get overly toe up. I don't wanna be told by nobody. I don't even wanna be looked at as crazy. I got more on principle and that's just what it is. I just know to shut up. Hey, I know this much. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the same baby mama, Kaylee, but she was on Instagram crying. The boy King Yellow was treating Kaylee wrong. Crying, boo hooing about her baby daddy. She got her name, he got a she got her name tatted more times than Krishan got blue face name. She got it, and she's madly in love with this dude. Okay. Now, if this the girl that you told the police that that gun was registered to, Kayla, that ain't straight, bro. Because that's a crime for her to even let you have her her pistol, bro. And this registered to her, that's registered to her, not you. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So why would you even tell tell this this man that that is registered to her? Let him find that shit out himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because. Um, so basically, if the gun is registered to the baby mom and they just was to look up the serial number, because it's Vegas, you can, right? That's open carry, right? Mm, I know the gun law is a little looser out there, but yeah, I Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. Um, so by him agreeing or giving off that information and saying that that's, that's Kayla's gun, that basically, they, she could have gotten in trouble for that because he took the gun, right? And he's a felon? She could have got in trouble for it. You know what I'm saying? For him having it, because why, why did this man have your gun? Damn. You know what I mean? Hey, see me. Since this case is all over and it's old and it's just coming up now, he's out of jail. Me, I would have threw that motherfucker under the seat. Got put over. I'm like, shit, nigga, I didn't know this shit was in there. Went to jail for it, and then when I went to court, I went to my lawyer. Oh man, my baby mama be driving that car, man. She must have left it in there. And then pff, I'm out. Damn, now, that's, that's what I would have did. Crazy. But 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 oh, okay. who's it, Kayla? So he did four years behind this pull, him getting pulled over, and he so uh, did he get attention drawn to himself because of the whole Cardi B thing? Because that's that's what it sounds like. No, he was in a vehicle and it was a random traffic stop. Oh, I thought they were pulling him over because they already. I, I want to say I seen a reaction video and they said they were already looking for him, but I don't know how true nah, that is. They already he was, he was on the him. radar because of the Cardi B situation. He was getting into it with Offset because. Some doing that Tommy G uh, allegedly because I like Cardi B and I think she's a yeah, great like woman. Cardi. So we not gonna put no extra bodies on her. Allegedly, Tommy G spanked down Cardi, and I guess he's cool with Tommy G. So Offset was going at it with King Yellow. The police asked about Offset. He told the police, "Yeah, he a GD." I said, oh, it's "This nigga right here." <laughs> So the lesson learned behind all this, if you're going online and you get into it with people, you put yourself on the radar. If you're into it with like certain artists or anything like that, like you automatically are on the police radar. That's what it sounds like. Because it sounds like they was already looking into him and looking for him. Like, nah, but why did he have to even volunteer something? No, 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 I ain't saying that was okay. I'm just saying look like they was, you know, you going on, getting online and talking crazy. You on their radar. Okay. <clears throat> as far as Inglewood family go, all right. Which would never happen if they were like, uh, Munchie B uh, stated that this person is from Inglewood family. I'll be considered what they call a credible source mm. based, on, based on I've been from Inglewood family for X amount of years, got the gang tasks, I've been in jail for gang crimes. I'm a credible, I'm, I'm what they call a credible, I'm a credible source. Okay, I don't know how long King Yella been GD, but let's say, uh, Officer wanted to say, Man, that's entertainment. I just say I'm GD for, for, for the, for the, for the ratings or just to get how to, how to, uh, the stamp of a gangster rapper. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now this credible witness then said, yeah, he GD because he, he from the Mecca of GDs, which is Chicago, and then you know he's been in jail a few times and da da da. da. Nigga, if they, if they know that, let them know that. You don't have to stamp that. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. <clears throat> Listen. My job is to take care of my daughter. So if the police ask me to help them do their job, I'm asking them, is they going to help me do mine? Because <laughs> I got two daughters, bro, and one is giving me a headache. Is you going to gonna help me with them? Preach. All right, nah, man. well, that ain't my job. That ain't yours. Whatever. You better leave me alone, nigga. Oh, ain't good. Nigga, you do your job. Nigga, I didn't go to jail to be no Babylon. I've nigga. never seen anything like this before. Like, it's all these people getting outed for this, like, 
I don't know what's 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 yet to come, but I feel like if anybody else who knows they maybe possibly could have said too much to the police, you might have just out yourself or something. <laughs> I don't know, because this is crazy. This is this is crazy. Um I right, look, <clears throat> fuck it. You said you out yourself? Yeah. All right, look. Uh, what was it, two thousand? So as in 16, 17, I told, told my baby mama, fuck you. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm you getting had a, me scared from it. I'm like, what are you about to say? I told her, I, I, we're getting a divorce. You know what I'm saying? I love you with all my heart, but shit, it ain't working out. We just ain't clicking like that. You know what I'm saying? We ain't clicking on all cylinders, and it is what it is. And that's, and that's what I told her. <laughs> I, I would Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why it was my part would be be a little bit. I don't even know beat it is even a word, but it was beating a little bad. So I'm like, oh, what you is thought it about to get bad? I'm up. like, what is? I'm like, this nigga tripping right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's tripping. <laughs> he was taking a minute to spit. I'm like, if he don't hurt, what is he about to say? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to hit Richard Hart. Uh, hey, what the fuck? Hell hey, no. Nah. You have me. I gave them motherfuckers my first and last name. Do your thing, nigga. Oh, you got a man. lot of shit to weave through, but I don't give a I don't give a f. Like uh, I know I ain't never did no wrong. Um, Nobody. you had me scared for a second. I don't know why. I'm like, what is this nigga about to say? I thought he was about to say something somebody you knew did or something like that. I'm like, oh damn. Oh no, you had me scared. For me. I don't know what was about to come out your mouth. I was sitting. There, I know I was looking at you crazy though for a fact. <laughs> I hope he zoomed in on your facial expression, like, like what the fuck? I oh, ain't good. But you in here tripping? No, I'm comfortable. I'm straight. No, I know that. No. I'm like, you in here tripping, man? I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. No, for real. That is so funny. No, the, the detective chip from Eagle Police. He had to he had to retire without uh, taking me down. He know it, it was fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> you had him running. I could talk my shit. You had him running to no, ready. That, that was right. That was right in my house, <clears throat> like. Twice, twice, twice a month. My mom was getting tired of them. Like she was like, like, it's time for you to move, nigga. <laughs> no, for real. Getting your house rated that much is crazy. I would but nothing. What was but you? Nothing. Was you saying crazy stuff on the internet? Hell no. Nah. Not like King Von was. <laughs> nothing near it. Oh, yeah, because LA is different. You can't do bro, that. Bro, bro, bro. I, I was getting my house ready for having a good day. <laughs> 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 nigga, I ain't do nothing. Nigga, I come from a graduation. And, like man, bro. I swear to God, I ain't. Well, I wasn't doing nothing. Was you on probation? Before. I was on probation. And Remember they did those going, probation sweeps randomly on people? That was the thing crazy. was, a probation officer never came to my house a day in my life. It would just be police officer from the agency in the area I bang in, and they'd be like, parole check, probation check. But they, they, they got the right to do that because I'm, you know, mm -hmm. search and seizure at any time, and they come in here and do what they want to do. But it would never be a PO with them versus, like, when I was a kid and my brother – like his PO would be long along with the police officers and that. Like I never had a PO come to my house a day in my life ever. Y'all had them people stressed out. Fuck them people, my mama. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So she, I ain't about to keep cleaning up my house every time they come in here looking for nothing. Literally, and your mama's such a nice lady. Y'all had her stressed yeah, out. Shout out my mama. She the biggest gang so I know for going through. Like you feel me? Y'all don't understand what mothers go through, man. Whew. Man, you got it easy, man. Whew. Man, look, I still be stressed, man. man. Hey, bro. Hey, look. <clears throat> that's like me being in a relationship for like uh, three years straight and get caught cheating two or three times. All right, two. Two times, not three. Mariah's son has all A's and one B. <laughs> okay, so he 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 do for he 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 could get a fight in or two throughout the the. I'm gonna say the school year, not the semester, because you go hard. The school year, two squabbles, and maybe maybe a, a clown ass act, a clown. What's it called? Class class, class clown. clown, class clown act. He get one class clown act and, and two squabbles out the year. He get a pass. All A's and a B. Look, I just don't want him to make his life unnecessary, unnecessarily hard. That's it. Just just do good. Just if you got all A's and you smart enough to know to stay the hell out of trouble. That's all I'm saying. Okay, okay. Before we move on, all right. Last question. Cause I got, I got, I got, I gotta have his back. Did you have the grades your son had when you was no? In high and that's why I'm so proud of him. No, I did not, and I, I, I could have, but I was an asshole. So we that's why I would have, could have, should have. We talking about no, what? I didn't. I was like a B okay. and C student, so no, I'm that's very cool proud of him. Though. That's cool too, though. That's cool too. But at all A's and one B. It's too easy for him. That's what I'm saying. He got too much time. 
it's so too, he gotta constantly be busy. Nah, busy. It's too easy for him. Nah. He, he. It's too easy for him. Okay, I'm all right. Before we go, on, I, I'm gonna take it one further. Your mom got seven daughters. Yeah. Six other than you. Did any of them have any of the grades that your your son have? Yeah, like three of us. Mm-hmm. Three, four three of us. us. You're not us. Three of them. Oh, yeah, three like three or four. Don't y'all take credit. Three or four of us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh, like, so three of them, three of them was up three there four, like that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, two okay. Two of my sisters graduated from college. Two or three of them, yeah. Okay. One went to the military. Yes, yeah, so we okay. all did different things. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right, I read a book down. twice. Oh, we, you not in there. You, y'all, we talking about the three sisters. We talking about the three yeah, sisters. Yeah, we all turned out pretty decent. I can't lie. I can't wait till I pull up for dinner. Your yeah. mama didn't forget. No, she didn't forget. You, She cooks every day. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So anytime you can pop up. All right, no, I'm going to pop up like a pimple. You're going to drive though, right? Yep. All right. I'm willing that motherfucker. I got yep. the Tesla outside. They don't even know yet. Hell, y'all don't even know how much you've been driving lately. He oh, brought me here today. Nigga, well, my shit charging outside. <laughs> BT, they, they, they better stay woke. Munch, you brought me here today, y'all. We got here in one piece. I'll tell everybody my secret, man. All right, I ain't going to tell nobody else. Oh, bro, yeah, I'll tell everybody else. Speaking of that. Uh, crazy people. Mr. Charleston, why your uncle? Oh, yeah. Hey, man, I don't like that. Don't say that. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, look, look, hey, I'm hot. Hey, look, 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 look. I'm, hey, look, 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 look. Little lady Munchy, F you, right? Hey, look, look, look. <laughs> hey, her, her and Baby Dot sending pictures back and forth to get to each other and talking about, don't he look like, <laughs> don't he like Munchy, right? So because I'm not knowing what's going on. Man, you got me twisted. You got a lazy eye. Hey. Hey, on, nah, man, my uncle. Nah, that man ain't my uncle. No. Nah. I'm mad. He don't look like me. No, y'all don't look alike. Man, what the nigga say on the wood? I know I look better than that nigga. The nigga man, you got me effed up, but nah. Charleston got a lazy eye or something like that. That's why they probably was saying that. They said it's cock like a pistol. Yeah, it's, it's cock. He, he do got a crazy eye. He do. But he got some, uh, he, got, he got a pretty daughter. Oh, you did say that. So is he B. Munchie B and Susie B. Let me find out. Hey, 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 Susie B. Hey, tap in on tap out with the Richard Hart podcast. We get the we got the dopest interviews in the in the in the poverty stricken area. Dopest. Don't <laughs> don't miss out. I'm saying though, like yeah, we go we go we go really. You know what I'm saying? Get get invasive with the interviews. Ask you questions. Get get where you going with your with your career? Cause we see you got the song with uh, NBA Young Boy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna plug it too much to say names because that's free promo, but tap in with us though. Susie B, and, and you know what I'm saying? Right, right around the block, you's a looker. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, I got some questions for her, for sure. Me too. I know you got different kind of questions. I just wanna know, like, you know, like how is it growing up? You're stereotyping me? What you mean? What, what, I'm not all oh, sexual. You, you said she's a looker, so I'm assuming you'd have uh, different questions. So, but, that, but that's be, that's how she became on my radar because oh. like, like two or three of the bros, like, like she looking like she 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 Bexy. I said what? Uh, boom, boom, boom. Now I listen to the music and all of those shit. And I get into the music later on when you pull up like Huggies. If you pull up like Huggies, but Susie B, tap in. And when we when this clip go up, we go tag you. You know what I'm saying, Susie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what I was saying. You say she was a looker. So that's what I was saying. I was. And y'all, Susie B, Munchie B, it's already two and two. It's like together. What? Two B's like uh 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 uh. uh. What's the little shit? I had them shoes. What them shoes with two Bs? Uh, what shoes? Come on, man. Uh, two Bs? Yeah, the two Bs on the belt. And then the shoes I had, they had three shots on it. Damn. I've some been expensive shit? Yeah. Oh. Shit, I don't know. Some expensive shit? Yeah. Well, yeah, they go, they go tell us whatever. The viewers go know what I'm talking about, but on to her pappy. Yes. What happened with this, this this dude, man? He's this a- video has been the highlight of my weekend. I am not going to lie. First of all, he was up on a stand-up comedy. I don't know what happened right before that it transpired, but he was telling somebody in the audience, like, pull out some money, nigga. Like, pull out some money. Mind you, Charleston has a shiesty mask on with a red hoodie. Oh, so at he this looked- time, he still got the shiesty mask on? Yes, he looked like a so bad... he never took the mask no, off. No, he never took the shiesty mask on. So he looked like a badass kid already on the, on the <laughs> stage. <laughs> he look like the dudes when I see them out, I leave the the area. Like if you got a shiesty mask and one of the I'm shiesty mask and a little hoodie or jacket, yeah, I'm up out of there. Bubble so, jacket. So 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 he had a hoodie and a shiesty mask. On. Yes, he looked like <laughs> he looked he looked bad. Okay, he looked like a badass kid. And at some point, the dude gets close to the stage. Charleston throws a, a flower vase at him. Then he gets somehow he's like getting on the stage. Uh, Charleston cracks him with the mic. 
Now the dude is on the stage. She's throwing a chair at him. And then at some point, somebody's able to tackle him. That video was a highlight of my week. Hey, Charles ain't no punk. Regardless of what people say, he put on his mace. He had, he, he, he was throwing shit at the dude. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. All right, run a clip. Let's, let's, let's be able to talk about it. Goddamn here. this though what was charleston's little rebuttal <gasps> after this hold on somebody said roll <laughs> in <laughs> it's just hearing everybody talking oh, shit. <laughs> hey hey hold on 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 somebody said roll <laughs> hood hey oh hey hold on all right so little look afterwards right go on camera like yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat the whole the whole city up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, yeah. Du Duberry knocked out about seven of them niggas. Uh, Duberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear Duberry with the deep voice. Yeah, right. From what I heard, Duberry broke. They said he he broke. Why? He did a dash. Psh. Oh, legal was so boom. Then he said, Yeah, nigga, I got a not scratch, not a scratch on me. Probably cause you had the shiesty mask the whole time. So was the I was the shiesty mask on the whole time while he's getting whipped on? Cause they tackled him, so you can't see really what happened. But no, they he... tackled that one dude, and then two more climbed on stage and got on him. Yeah, but you can't really see once he's tackled. And I don't know which one is Dewberry, so I need to like go back and watch the video and find out like who's Dewberry, what he had on. Because once he was tackled, you really can't tell what happened from that angle. Like you can't really tell, but that shit was crazy. <laughs> hey, hold on. He said, "Roll, roll hood, hood, nigga." nigga. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Charleston, man. Uncle Charleston. California, we got to step our game up, man. He come out here, nigga, trying to do some stand-up, nigga. We got to be some stand-up, niggas. He said he ain't worried about California. He already did his California thing. A, a California show? Because he used to live out here, so he felt no, like no, no, he, no, no, oh, no, do no, a California no. show. No, no, no. When he was standing out here, he wasn't reckless. He didn't say, fuck all these dead peoples, fuck the bloods, fuck the crips. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, is he going to come out here and do a stand-up show? I'm pretty sure. We got to look at TK Kirkland's... Uh, Hey, Susie, Just I'm weird. not threatening your dad because I want you to, I want to interview Susie. I'm not threatening your dad. Oh, no, no threats are. No, no threats. We don't throw threats. We we mm -hmm. show love at Rich Your Heart. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. That's Uncle Charleston. He Baby. throw, he throw, uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to go to jail behind Charleston. <laughs> or get hit by a chair. Or oh, he get hit by a chair and a vase and a mic. Uh-uh. Hey, hey, hey. He was talking shit while he was throwing that shit. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. didn't care. He wasn't no punk. I ain't no, gonna no, lie. No, 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 no. He thought that vase was going to stop him. Boom, it didn't. So he got the mic. Yeah, nigga. Boom, but what, stop. why does security take so long? Because nobody likes him. Mm. So they like they took their time. Yeah, that's true. They took their time. That that that's crazy. I mean, he's he's. I don't know. They should have looked out for Uncle Charleston. They know he can't see out the other eye already. Yeah, the is. same nigga that they that 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 was taking their time to security probably got the niggas in the front rows the tickets to get there. Like, oh, this is my cousin, man. He no, but the skits that are coming out after it's this dude named Skinbone. He's funny as hell. He did the skit and literally reenacted the whole thing. I was crying laughing. Like this was it on point? Yes, yeah, literally on point. I gotta send it to you. It was funny. Yes. Hey, look. Look, look. I know, I know, I know why some crying go he go he gonna have fun with this one. Yeah. No, why some crying? He only do LA shit really, huh? I never seen him do. No, I haven't really. It really be like the Atlanta dudes, and they really like will do anybody like reenact stuff. So skins and bones. He from where? Uh, I think he's from Chicago. Oh, Skin he, bone. Yeah. And he booming. Yeah, he's funny though. He's all, like anything that drops that's funny. He picks up the next day and already has a whole video drop. Like the layout. The, I'm talking about layout. Like very detailed. He had the same pants Charleston had on. Like everything. Cause Charleston had these like very distinct pants on. Like he. Oh, he went shopping the very next day. Yeah, like he had it all. It was it's, it was pretty funny. Yeah, that shit was funny. Y'all gotta check that out. It was funny. I wish I was funny like that. Do you? Yeah. I don't think you'll be as desirable. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> That's messed up. No, I'm gonna keep it 3400 with you. Oh man, you little sis, you they're like, man, shit, goofy. This goofy mother. ass girl, this Hell goofy yeah. ass girl. Hell yeah, you keep it real as him. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what we skipped over. What did we skip over? This off schedule though. Okay. 
uh, while I'm talking, maybe Alice could pull a clip when, when uh, what's his name uh, from Chicago? You just talked about King Yella. You know he he had a, a case, and they say he messed with a female a, a tad bit younger. Uh huh. And if you come up with the clip, you let me know. But see, okay, I was just informed earlier that you know some states. 16, you legal. Some 17, you legal. Mm-hmm. Kind of find out. California, we like the m- minority with the 18 thing. <clears throat> now, I want all the viewers to, 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 to look into this, right? It's against the law for, 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 for minors to even have sex with each other. In California. Mm-hmm. In California. In California mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's against the law. Okay. Now... They have something that's referred to as the Romeo and Juliet law, where it's four years grace period type thing, right? So if you're in Florida, which is is active in Florida, if you're 19, you can mess with a 15 year old. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's it's a four year thing. So if she's 16, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You do the math. So it's things like that. I don't know if the Romeo and Juliet little thing. Because he was 19 and the girl was 15, and I don't know if that's an effect out there in Illinois. It was well, Illinois. Mm-hmm. I heard they don't like it with the S. Illinois. I don't know if it's an effect. But, <clears throat> okay, I was having a talk earlier. Some say four is too much of a gap. Uh, Somebody I know, his wife say two years probably should be the max. He say, uh, he made her... Three, he say three. So what you say, Romeo and Ju- Juliet Law? What you say? What sh- should be? You know what I'm saying? Mm, that's really hard to say because sometimes you have kids in high school that's like 18, and then you can have a 14 year old. That's how it be. It's four years you, apart. Yeah, that's so. what I'm saying. So it's kind of hard to say. Like, um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't even want to say the wrong thing. That's really hard to say. All right, so I'm going to ask it a different way. Your daughter, a freshman in high school, she's 14, and her boyfriend about to graduate, he's 18. How mm-hmm. you feel? Like, what would you feel about it? I, pro- I wouldn't be the happiest, but um, to be honest with you, I think it would be the type of young man he would be too. Like, is he in sports? Is he playing sports? I, I, obviously, I don't want to condone that, but at the same time, it's like, you're going to school with this boy. If I'm going to try to keep you away from him, then you're going to go sneak and hide. Like, I already know how that the whole game goes. I did the same thing. I was a team mom, so I already know. And we're three and a half years apart, or two and a half. Two and a half or three years, I'm not sure. So, and I met him through high school, but he's older. So it's like, that's why I'm like, uh, and that's not just particularly in my situation. It's just like, I don't really know. Because you could be in high school with someone that's way older than you. Yeah, but see, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> so is they just judging off the four-year freshman, senior thing, or off, off off high school type thing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to hit different if you're, you're if, if if this dude's in the tenth grade, then you got nine, eight, seven, six. She's in the six. Yeah, see, probably ain't even started her menstrual yet. Yeah, I don't that. See, that's that's no, we we not gonna do that. See, and, and, it's, and it's, then it's I want to know when say, when that's... do the Romeo and Juliet law kick in? Cause it can't be too young, you know what I'm saying? And what do you base it off? Because of, like, I'm not trying to say girls are much more mature. I don't even want to. No, 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 I... no, no. Scientifically, they say females are more mature, right? And then than men, but but I don't know how true that is because it depends. It mature, we're mature in different ways. I'll say that, but I don't think that that's there's a lot of things that we think that we grown and we not we're, we consented to things we're not even ready for. I'll just be honest, as I was a teen mom. So seventeen is the age of consent in Illinois. Seventeen. Yeah, and there is no Romeo and Juliet law in Illinois. Okay, so in, in Illinois. The, the 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 age of consent is seventeen, and there's no Romeo and Juliet law out there, which give you that four year cushion. But I said that to say, since I went hard on him earlier about his uh, <clears throat> informing, I, I I can't give you a break because it ain't legal in your, in your in your in your state. But I think all fifty states, bro, need to make the same shit across the board. So. People won't look at people differently depending on their morals or how they standing and where they live at. You know what I'm saying? Because you go to certain states, 
uh, she's an adult at 16. Mm -hmm. Go here, 17, she's legal. Come to California, 18, she's adult. And like, you know what I'm saying? It is it like slippery slope. And then throwing the 19, it's like, I'm just like, it don't seem crazy, but I'm trying to be careful because some people may take this the wrong way. It, like, it doesn't seem like it's a crazy big age gap to me, to be honest, even though he's considered an adult once he's uh, 18. Uh, 19 and 15. <clears throat> I think she was 16. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, that's in 19 to 16. That was okay, 19. even closer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't sound like too crazy, but I, I'm trying to be careful because I know people are probably gonna think of it like, you know, would you? I wouldn't want that for my own child, but I understand how you can meet somebody a little bit older and you may went to school with this person at one point in your life, and then you know, y'all continue the conversation. I get it, I understand. It's like I'm not trying to be oblivious to stuff. Would I like it? Probably not, but I'm not stupid either. Like, it's that's not you. You may go to a friend's party and there's some 19 year olds there. Like it's just because y'all all went to school together. Maybe this person just went off to college. So it's kind of like hard to say, like to call somebody like a pedo, like throw those words out there is kind of like a big stretch. If I'm being honest, like I wouldn't want somebody to throw that on my son or any like anybody I care about or just anybody like that's kind of crazy to say that. 30 states have Romeo and Juliet laws. So that means 20 don't, including California. OK, <clears throat> to reiterate, 30 states out of 50 got Romeo and Juliet law and to run him back. That's that four year cushion. So <clears throat> if baby is 15 and Jack is 19, it's good. If she's 14, he's 18. It's good. No matter how you look at it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's that's majority of the United States. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, now, now I'm thinking differently. I want to know, because I, all I know is that, that R. Kelly messed with underage women. Mm -hmm. But I want to know how young. Because the United States, you confusing people, bro. You got people that moved from state to state. Been living in three different states and unstable. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you're confusing the citizens of the United States, bro. Why isn't this not one thing straight against the board? Like, all 50. I'm not understanding that. <sighs> Maybe because in certain, like, like in the South, you know, those Marinoff young girls very early, you just had to give in. What is it called? Um, it's a word they use. Oh, dang. I can't think of the It's a specific word you use, but if you want to marry your daughter, and it was marrying them off hella young, like, you know, really young. And there was big age gaps. So maybe that's why, like, in some states, they kind of like backed off on it i don't really that's just a, it's a really crazy topic and it's very hard to say things nowadays without being criticized like when you want to vocalize your opinion on that but i know 16 and 19 that just sounds crazy to me like to somebody have to go to jail behind that or get in trouble for that unless it was like real the r word involved like in real assault involved then i understand hey, at any point any age what i want to do <clears throat> i want to revisit this exact topic Spotter, Spotter, he he good at, at uh, you know what I'm saying. He know how to get his point across. He know how to, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He 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 good with that. He 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 not a dummy. And I want to invite one more female, <clears throat> but we will be careful and precise on the female we pick because we want to have a, a, a level head, and not be like just no little dummy. You know what I'm saying, and like be able to talk that talk with us. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because this right here. <clears throat> I'm not understanding it. Yeah, I don't really get it. And I, you know, we live in times right now where everything's very sensitive and there are things really happening. And it's, I kind of like to back off of these seven topics, but I'm willing to sit with people that are level headed and, you know, throw the law in there a little bit and we can have a better understanding of this because I too need to be educated on this too. 30 states out of 20 got the, uh, the, 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 uh, what is it? The, 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 the here's, rum a, here's a clip. One minute clip. Law refers to a portion of a statute that allows certain people who have been convicted of sex offenses to have their names removed from the registration requirement. Uh, it is not a defense to a crime, to the actual crime of unlawful sexual activity or lewd and lascivious. But if you've been convicted, there are some criteria, criteria that are very specific that allow you to remove your name, such as you can't be any more than four years older than the victim in the case. Um, it had to be a consensual relationship. So it, 
includes people who were 18, 19 years of age who may have been having a consensual relationship with someone under the age of 16 to come back later and remove their names from the requirement of sex offender. So a lot of people retroactively to get off oh. of the sexual database too. Yeah. They were convicted 10 or 15 years ago. That thing just smacked me in the face. <laughs> no, because that's crazy. So, so some people basically have been charged for these offenses and been on that database and technically they shouldn't have. That's that's a horrible crime to walk around with. Oh, what state they said in the beginning? What do you mean? In the beginning they said in the state of what? California? No, I didn't. I didn't hear. I didn't hear a state. I don't think I heard a state. Hey, bro, listen. Statutory rape. I don't know, man. Hey, look, bro. They need to stop doing that, bro. Then we need to start a petition, bro. It need to be one age across the board, all fifty states, and then post that shit and put a link and everybody log in and and set the president. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit crazy. But then I would hate to mess up people that, that that's already living their life as adults and they 16, 17, and then unless it ain't retro to them, they they already considered adults because it's before the law changed. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you're a teen parent. So when you sign your daughter's birth certificate, did they, a social worker come and talk to you? Hell no. Nah. They didn't talk to you then? What? When I, when I saw my... Well, hell no. Nah. Yeah, before you signed... Okay, I was wondering... Because I know they talked to the mothers, obviously, but I didn't know if they talked to... Because you were a teen oh. parent, too. I was just wondering, like, what they say is that consensual because it should be across the board, right? For males, too. Man, my baby mama, a year younger than me, maybe less than that. But it's like, I'm a year older than her, but it might be some months. But you guys were kids, so it's like, both of y'all were kids. Secondly, like, mm -hmm. you know, like, did they talk to both of y'all? I was 15. Yeah, so do they talk to both of you? You know what I'm saying? Like it's if they talk to her, I don't know. They ain't talk to me. They they probably did talk to her because I know they talked to me and I was 17 already. But they made sure like it was consensual. You know, what I want this was baby. Born? 2010. Okay, that's four years after my my daughter. Mhm. Mm they made sure it was consensual. I want. Yeah, I'm like yeah, of course. I was scared. I'm like, what was going on? I have my baby so tight. You know, so that's that's just, that's a really that's a really interesting topic and we, i think we can all learn from that which i love to learn so i think that's something we definitely got to bring back up top no, of the year no 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 he, no 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 uh spider not articulate itself well me spider you and, and a, a young lady that know how to you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. take in this information then 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 you know saying reciprocate it i'm definitely gonna be doing my research <clears> so i can come prepared come my uh i want i want nick at night my sister. Oh yeah, Nika at night is but, good. But she don't stay out here, huh? I think she is from LA. I don't know, but I've been watching Nika at night for a minute. She's good at what she does too, and she knows what she be talking I think about. She's from St. Louis. Am I tripping? I thought she was from LA. I, could I don't be know. Wrong. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe one of us is right. I don't know. Or, 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 or no, no, no. We gonna grab Gina. We gonna figure it out. Yeah, yeah. but Nika at night is dope, and she's she knows a lot pretty well too. So um, that actually be dope. And I'm gonna do my research and come with my binder. Be ready with my glasses on. What? Okay. <laughs> and a business suit. Okay, you got a little chain on your glasses and all the yeah, little shit. Yeah, be ready. Be ready with my business suit. Mm -hmm. Come in here like an attorney, okay? On oh, everything. <laughs> but yeah, so this was a great topic, man. She, I don't know, it's kind of very interesting. It be trending, and, and, and I haven't heard nobody talk talk about it. And I think it need to be talked about because I got two daughters. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know what I'm saying? And if you a, a adult at 16, why you don't graduate at 16? True. Like, you know what I'm saying? In these different states. Mm-hmm. Nigga, on the set, they still got baby teeth sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't, I don't know about that, bro. And nigga, and I, why the fuck is they paying child support higher than 16 in these states then? True. They but the but the mind of a child at 16, you're still a kid at 16. So it's so confusing. I don't know. It's so confusing. It, it, it literally how you grew up to plays a big factor into it too like how your mental state i don't know honestly i don't even want to say these things i just be trying to be cautious because i don't want to say the wrong things and persuade any children to think that this is okay <laughs> listen to your parents hey look bro california law say your mind ain't fully developed to like you 25 so they changed the law to where you know certain people coming out the court that committed these crimes as a, as a kid or under the age of 25 and they showing them some leniency and cutting some people loose or cutting some time down. You know what I'm saying? So if they're doing that to people that have committed crimes, imagine some some little girl that's giving up her little pom pom. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She's like, she's doing it because he got a shiny car, some rims, or some weed to smoke. Like, so it got to be a president set with this shit across the board. Like, I don't like that little slippery slope shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the dude 6 9 had a, a sex act case. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. And then he had another one. But it was, he got away with it in a certain state because she traveled to him. And in that state, the, 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 the uh, 
you know, the the law is different. It's different. You sixteen, you 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 legal. Mm-hmm. She came from a state that it wasn't that, and then she showed it to him. Was over there, and he did his thing, and you know that shit crazy. So just think about it. Like you don't recognize who you were at fifteen. I'm sure you're way different now. Like you're told, your mind is not even. If you think about the stuff you did at fifteen and who you are right now, like who I was when I was fifteen, I'm totally not the same person. I wasn't bad, but you know, like. Before we close it out, who was Mariah at fifteen? Tell him I was a fighter. That's it. <laughs> he was a fighter. He was thugging. Yeah, I just was mean. I was really mean. I wasn't nice. A nice young lady. I just was mean. That's it. Honestly. Hmm. Then I met my baby daddy. I was well. We knew each other when I was like already fourteen. But then, yeah, you know. And then you wanted. To, and then you wanted to fight him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's typically how I go, huh? Yeah. Then I knock his lights out. But yeah, I'm not like that no more. I'm, I'm a sweetheart. Nothing but peace and love and prosperity. That part. That was shit, man. It's about to be a rap like I'm kind of John we're out there. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to follow me on three. Instagram. Uh, Twitter, MB underscore the mayor. That's MB underscore T H A mayor. And help me get my followers up, man. I ain't looking like a celebrity yet, man. I need to get my little, my little, my little shits up and all the little shits. Oh yeah, and my uh, YouTube, my YouTube, Munchie B, Munchie B, thirty four zero zero. Yeah, thirty four hundred. Thirty four hundred, baby. All right, make sure y'all follow my Instagram, my underscore Mariah with four H's underscore. My YouTube, Mariah Cherise. Make sure y'all purchase my book. It's in the link on my Instagram bio. And yes, it was a pleasure. Everybody, tap in on Tap Out the Richard Hart Podcast. Be tuned. Yep. I never thought we'd make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Now it's ownership and bank account. It's the beef with that cake about. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. I'll fuck with your music, nigga. I see you, nigga. Keep going, nigga. On blood. That shit is good, nigga. It's good energy, nigga. It's good for you, nigga. To show, nigga, you can do it no matter what, nigga. No matter what, nigga, you can do it, nigga. Believe that, nigga. So keep pushing the cold line, nigga. Keep popping, nigga. On blood. I'll be home soon to fuck with it, nigga. We'll see. We'll see.